Stay a while and listen. What is going on guys? So today I will be showing you my trap assassin character. Now in this video I will be going over all the equipment, the skills and attributes and give you guys some gameplay and also some more details about my item choices. If you guys want to check the links in the description below you can skip to the different parts of the build that you want to see. If you want to see the, the part of the video where I show the equipment or the skills or the gameplay you guys can select that in the description below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys my equipment first. And the first thing I'm going to talk about the most is the silence phase blade. Now, the reason why I'm using this is because when you cast your traps, how fast you cast your traps is based on your attack speed, not your faster cast rate. So I really wanted to use silence because it's a fa I put it in a phase blade so I have more increased attack speed. It has two to all skills and mainly for the 75 to all resistances. So I don't have to use fade on this assassin. I can use increased speed so then I'm casting my traps really fast. Now I was really lacking a lot of resistances for this build and I don't have an any at the moment either because they're really hard to find at the moment and they're just not even on the market at all. And if they are, they're really expensive. So I really need to boost my resistances. And I think Silence was the perfect choice for this. And it gives me some magic find along the way. And it's a really cheap option for a trap assassin when you're trying to get that extra increased attack speed. There's a lot of claws out there, assassin claws. They're really expensive. They're they're blue and they have you know trap skills and assassin skills and two sockets and they're really expensive and they're really hard to find so I really think that silence was like a happy medium for that where you don't have to spend a ton of ton of currency to get your items you know so silence I think was a really good choice here and it's just my personal preference for what I want to do with my character you could probably go along with a hodo heart of the oak or something like that but I really enjoy using silence and I think the assassin looks really cool with with the blue sword so and then I want to add some magic find to my character so I have a Isted Shako and then on my character I have the faster cast rate breakpoint so for me to hit the breakpoint that I wanted to hit I needed to get a amulet with faster cast rate and two rings with faster cast rate to combine that with my arachnid mesh and my gloves so I really wanted to hit that breakpoint so I'm teleporting around faster and just killing more monsters more often so and then I'm using Enigma and then I'm using a spirit shield and with the spirit shield for my faster cast rate breakpoint I had to hit 33% on that I believe so it needed to be 33% or above and I have a 34 and I'm using more traveler battle boots and on switch I have a call to arms and a spirit shield and one thing I really wanted to mention about this call to arms is I'm using a one to battle orders and I really wanted to mention that just because a call to arms only has one to battle orders I know that sucks when that happens but just because it's a one to battle orders does not mean that it's necessarily going to be useless so on this character I have a lot of bonuses to all of my skills so if you add up all these skills I think I would get about a level 8 battle orders combining like my skills from Enigma and Chico. So when you have a 1 to battle orders call to arms I just want to want to let you guys know that it's not useless. Even though it is really cheap and if you're really on a budget I would highly suggest that you get a 1 to battle orders if you're a character that has a lot of plus to all skills. So and then in my inventory I'm using the assassin torch, one geed's charm, and the rest just trap assassin skillers. And I don't have, like I said, I don't have an Annie because they're just really hard to find right now and Diablo clones just aren't spawning. I don't, I don't really know what's going on with that. So and then one of the main parts of this build is obviously having infinity for the conviction aura so you're getting rid of some of those lightning immune monsters and also so you're doing a ton of more damage. But you guys don't have to use Fortitude and, and on Dario's helmet. I mean, you could go along with something else, but that's just, you know, the basic basic items to use for your mercenary in the Diablo 2 community. So, and then for my skills, I put 20 into Death Traps, 20 Lightning Traps, 20 Charged Bolt tra Traps, and 20 Shock Web. And then Martial Arts, I put none. And for my Shadow Disciplines, I put one into Cloak of Shadows, 
I'm, I put the rest of my points into Burst to speed all my extra points. And I put a, a few more points into Shadow Warrior. But if I really want to put a lot of points into Burst of Speed just so I can run around faster. I really like to run fast in Diablo 2. I don't know why. I just hate when I have a character that runs really slow. So I put the rest of my points into Burst of Speed. I would probably suggest um, you put one point in the Burst of Speed and then the rest of your points in the Shadow Warrior. So your Shadow Warrior is doing more damage and things like that. But that's just kind of part of the build where, you know, you kind of kind of just have to decide those things for yourself you know do you want to do you want your character to run faster or do you want your shadow warrior to live longer and do more damage and things like that you know it's all kind of up to you and what you want to do with your character when it comes to the last little points like that so that's just what I did with my with my build I just put the rest of my points in the burst of speed and mainly just put one point in the shadow warrior cloak shadows and all that other stuff here so and then as far as my attributes I put enough strength to use my gear enough decks to use my gear energy none and the rest of my points in the vitality so and then right now I'm gonna show you guys how I buff up and how I get this character started and how I set up my traps and everything so obviously I do bad orders battle command versus speed and then I put out my shadow warrior and then I cast battle orders and battle command again so I can buff her up. So what I do is when I go after a group of monsters, I set up three lightning traps and then I set up one death trap. And then after that, I just keep throwing my shock webs in there. That's usually how I do it. So and then here's a little tip for you guys about how I use shock web. I usually put shock web on my left side of my skill bar and I cast all my traps on the right. But for shock web, I usually put just leave it right there all the time. And then I hold down shift and I left click with my mouse and then I just keep throwing up the shock webs while all of my traps are up. And a lot of times I'll use my mercenary as bait. So I'll just show you here. I'll just kind of pull monsters back. And I'll try and set the death trap right on top of them and, and then put all the lightning traps up and then throw my shock webs. And then we'll go into a higher, higher difficulty game after this because you know the traps really take out the monsters really quick. Right now I'm doing just under 9,000 trap damage. I think you can get it up to 11k or 12k with, with all skill items and things like that. But I wanted to have more magic find and faster cast rate. So I sacrificed some damage for that. So basically what you want to do with this character is put up 3 lightning traps. 1 death trap. And then just keep throwing up your shock webs. And every now and then if you want to throw up your cloak of shadow so your mercenary and shadow warrior can do more damage you could do that also so and then we'll we'll join a higher difficulty game and i'll show you guys how well this build works out on our own so make seven people in the game so i'll make it pretty difficult Someone already cleared this over there, over here. But as you guys can see so far, you know, it does a ton of damage. And I really think the, the Trap Assassin is a lot more effective than the Chain Lightning Sorceress, which is a lot more expensive than a Trap Assassin. And I also think it's a lot more convenient when you can just throw up the traps and then you know the traps just do the work for you and then after that you're kind of just looking out for the items on the ground and just protecting yourself from from the monsters and things like that and we'll join another game because everyone just left that one here maybe we'll just go all out and do a bail run real quick show you guys how well she could solo bail run
See, I didn't even have to do much there. I just kind of threw out my traps and that was good to go. Some people left this game too. But just to give you guys, you know, a little idea of what this character can do and how well it could solo bail and things like that. But I definitely wouldn't say that this character is invincible or anything. I would just make sure, you know, you kind of teleport up, let your let your mercenary and your shadow warrior kind of take all the damage for you. You just kind of stay back and throw your traps up. We got Telrosh's mask right there. Very nice. Uh, items that drop too. Very nice. I'll keep that tower ashes. Bail kill my mark. <clears throat> I actually never tried bail on this character, so get him, buddy. Oh, no, Chico. No, Chico. Natalia's boots. Which I don't want. Alright, well, that's about it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this Trap Assassin build. And um, just kind of let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys have any item suggestions or what you guys would do if it was your own Trap Assassin. Things like that. So, and I will see you guys on my next video. Make sure you guys subscribe if you want to keep up with Diablo 2 content. And like I said, make sure you guys check the links in the description below if you guys want to skip back or skip to a certain part of the video that you want to see, like my equipment or skills and things like that. So you can skip to the part of the video you want to see. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys later.